So hello guys, look at this, something has happened. The first part of this work is actually done. And as you can see, here's the result from the top side. Uh, stay tuned, in just a second you will see the rest of this. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscription button down here so you don't miss any of the content. Don't forget to click that little bell down there, that notification button. And when you open that, that's a little menu, click all so you get all notifications that come. You don't miss any of my videos. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, there is a couple of days since I was in here last and uh, well, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, some of this, some of it is going to come up in a later movie, but uh, I also done some off camera work with the roof. I didn't want to bore you with all of the stuff that had to be done. But as it is now, right now, it's actually ready for gel coating. We just get on with it. There is nothing more to say. Uh, I'm gonna wipe it off one last time with the acetone and then we just hit it. So just before I start mixing, uh, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about the process here. I'm actually gonna do three layers of uh, gel coat or two layers of gel coat actually and one layer of top coat. And I'm just gonna let it go a couple of hours between each uh, uh, layer. Uh, two to three hours between each layer. So I will start now, it's about six. Uh, first layer will be laid now in, in about 30 minutes. And after that, somewhere around nine o'clock, second layer, and then around somewhere around 12 o'clock, I will do the last layer that is uh, top coat. If you mix in paraffin with every layer of uh, gel coat, you're gonna get top coat, of course, and then you're gonna have to wait until every layer is uh, actually is cured that you can take the sand off the uh, wax that rises to the uh, or the paraffin or the wax that's gonna raise to the surface. And if you just mix gel coat and paint that on, the gel coat will stay sticky. Even when it's starting to cure, it's gonna stay sticky. <laughs> First layer is laid, so just wait a few hours and then uh, time to go again. See you soon. So, uh, it's time for the layer number two. Uh, I just check the surfaces, see how they are. Uh, I can actually put my finger in it without getting any traces on my gloves. Uh, and uh, it's still sticky. So that means I actually can put the next layer on there now. Well then, that was the second layer. 
Uh, let's come back in here in a couple of hours again and see how this is. Probably somewhere around midnight. Oh, and by the way, I've got my first Patreon. Thank you so much. Uh, your name rolling up here on the right side. Right by now. So, hi again, guys. Uh, it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm crazy. I'm out here preparing for the third and last layer of uh, gel coat. I'm going to use foam roller on this one. Uh, that's gonna make it a bit nicer surface. Right now it's it's still tacky but it doesn't stick to your my finger or anything like that so it's just the perfect time to do the last coat. coated three times now and last time I had the paraffin in it so now actually just wait and see see how it looks tomorrow um, let this sit overnight come in here tomorrow and check on it uh, then I'm going to go also go up to the boat and do, the, do some more measurements of stuff that I'm gonna pre-make down here in the workshop we have kind of a storm again I think it's the third in like two weeks or something going on right now so I'm a little bit curious about how my tarps and stuff looks like up there so I need to go up and check on that so just like just let us take a little walk around and see how it looks like now uh, you see it a little bit more closed up So now I'm just going to let this sit for a couple of days. Then we have to turn the roof again and, and just do a uh, small sanding on the other side. I have some fairing to do also. And after that, a couple of new coats on the other side. Then the roof is done. So I'm actually pretty sure that this will be a finished project by this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like, a subscription. And of course, don't forget the little notification button and I see you all next week.